Hi, I'm Matt Norman with Florida Native Boat Sales. Today on board my personal boat, a 2019 Tidewater 2410 Baymax. It's been a great boat of mine, but it is time to turn the chapter. So here to give everybody an in-depth walkthrough uh, of all the details and features and equipment on board. So we'll start right here in the back. You can see she's powered with a Yamaha F250, only 130 hours. I've kept it serviced and uh, she performs excellent with, uh, with this boat, uh, excellent power and really well uh, on fuel economy. Got a 10 foot power pole blade right next to her. She's on a uh, bracket style for the jack plate and also have a six inch Atlas hydraulic jack plate. Lenco trim tabs, of course, to level out the load. And I loved how this boat had a integrated uh, fiberglass color matched swim ladder. So four steps to board in and out. It's been great for my family and the power pole on this side does not, of course, interfere with the, the boarding of, of the boat. Really large aft uh, casting deck, and I'm standing on some, some great hydro deck uh, decking, so it allows for great traction when, it, when the decks are wet and also is very comfortable getting up and down. So the seating back here is pretty sweet. It really hides completely out of the way when you don't want it, and now I have enough room for two full-size adults uh, or you know probably three kids to all sit across the back here nice and comfortable um, you have cup holders within reach and, and you're in the center of the boat so you're well balanced and you also stay really dry when you're sitting here uh, also I need to almost forgot so much storage on this boat you'll see the theme so we have a secondary uh, storage tray I use this for dock lines um, you could use it for safety gear and then it removes out completely to give you really a large amount of access uh, to the bilge. I had to replace the board on the power pole uh, not that long ago, and uh, it was actually a breeze to do so. I had plenty of room, plenty of light, and then again, this just locks in beautifully. On either side, we have dueling live wells with gas struts that hold open the hatches. Don't know the gallons off the top of my head. I'd say they're probably around the 25, 30 gallon range. And we have uh, uh, rod holders on either side here for trolling if you wanted to do some, some trolling and then flush mounted cleats throughout as well. So I love the flush mounted cleats. Lot of space in the cockpit on this. Uh, she's a self bailing cockpit, so I wanna point that out. Um, and she does well with it too. A lot of bay boats, you get some guys back here and water comes back in, not, not on this model, not on this boat. And it's a wide boat too. You'll see as we're moving around here on the video, very stable, it's a nine foot beam. So as me and the cameraman are walking on the same side, we have, uh, you know, we don't feel like the boat's gonna tip over um, or we lose our footing. JL audio throughout and uh, the, the, all the speakers work great. Uh, she's very loud when you're, when you're running on plane and so you got plenty of tunes if you like that. Come up here to the helm. It's a leaning post with dual bolster seats. So you can, this is an upgrade I believe on from Tidewater, so you can choose to have your passenger sit right here and the driver use it as a traditional leaning post or vice versa. Underneath it's all open for a removable cooler. Uh, one does not convey, but you have plenty of space for a bunch of different size coolers here. Plenty of real estate here on the console. Uh, we got C-Star hydraulic steering with a tilt helm. Our power pole switch right here at your fingertips. Also have a remote fob for the power pole. We got our jack plate switch. Trim Lenco uh, electric trim tabs. A couple cup holders where you need them. Your lighted accessories. So these will all be backlit when it's time to power them on. So it's easy to see what's on and they're labeled, which is great. And then on the main panel, we got our Lowrance uh, GPS and sonar combo. Uh, it is a hybrid between touch and push button, so whichever you prefer, you have the access to both. Uh, then we have our Yamaha uh, command link gauge and a Media Master 50 JL uh, head unit for the audio. And then I love that they have just a little kind of catch-all spot here um, for, as you can see, how we're using it right now for a remote glasses and phone. Directly above us, we got some accessory lighting, some speakers, and the VHF ship to shore radio hidden in, in an e-box. White powder coating's in great shape and really makes for a nice finish. It stay, keeps the boat nice and light and bright. Moving into the console access here, there is enough 
there is enough space on board to do a porta potty if you so choose. Uh, there is also my trolling motor batteries uh, for their forward, so it's a 24 volt two battery system, and then two uh, house and engine batteries uh, behind here. And I love how this zips up. And again, you got some nice clean storage here, and you can protect your rigging. We got onboard chargers for both trolling motor and house, and plenty of plenty of storage in there for bulky items. Moving further forward, we got the uh, a jump another jump seat in front of the console here, enough room for two people, and underneath of it is a third plumbed live well. Upholstery is in excellent shape, nice detail in the stitching, and. The forward deck is massive, and I love that this is a two-stage step up. Some bay boats just have one step up. I really like that this was a two-stage, so you don't have to make that huge, huge step if you don't want to. Um, and then you have enough real estate up here for multiple people to be casting and fishing at the same time if you're in shore fishing and not get in people's way. And uh, let's check out some of the cavernous storage. So this could be really anything you want it to be. I know some guys like to use it as a fish box. Um, I just used it for, for quicker grab items. Then you have, uh, let's see, rod locker here on both sides. We've got our shoes and some towels in here. But again, you have uh, rod holders going all the way forward. So if you want to protect maybe some bigger rods, or if you're just not going to be fishing most of the day, but you want to have some rods on board, that's a great place to have them. And then this is the big box. So we got a ton. We got our camera equipment. We got backpack, safety gear. And in the bottom of this is a dedicated holster for a five gallon bucket. So if you're a boater, you know how important those are from anything from cast nets to trash to cleaning. So you can have a, a, a nice, nice spot for a five gallon bucket to stand up. Then all the way forward, we got our dedicated anchor locker and tie off cleat with a flush mount cleat in front. And all the way front, we got our motor guide, XI5, 24 volt. 80 pound thrust trolling motor and it's been uh, enjoying a nice anchor mode spot lock while we've been shooting the video so it's been keeping us in one spot very very quiet and it is on a quick release and I utilize that quick release a lot when we're doing family boating with one quick pin I'll take the entire trolling motor off unplug and store it in the garage or um, you know not take it on board and then we have a nice clean deck uh, where you don't have to worry about the trolling motor uh, getting in your way. Would be remiss if I didn't point out the option that this has for the freshwater washdown. So there is a, a dedicated freshwater tank on board. There we go. And uh, so you can take fresh water on board and rinse off uh, salty or sandy bodies as, as needed. It's a great feature to have. I love it. And uh, also a nice little detail touch on this hydro decking is we got a dedicated fish ruler. So that way you can measure your catch and make sure you're legal. Guys, this is Matt Norman, Florida Native Boat Sales. Uh, presenting this 2019 Tidewater 2410 Baymax in detail. I hope you had a, a great uh, insight into uh, this boat and looking forward to getting you on the water.